Hey, what's up, guys? Mudded HD here, and welcome to episode 7 of my underdog series where I take Northampton Town, place them in the BPL, give them the financial takeover of 40 million, and then go and say to them, You need to go survive, do the best that you can with the money that you have, and see what we can do here. So, in the last previous two episodes, we've had massive, massive problems with this series. Uh, not to say it was a bad idea, but um, sort of the concept was sort of overwritten by the fact that um, he, um, FIFA doesn't like you having good players at such a bad club, um, even though you got money. So you have to offer them a lot of money. And when I say a lot, I mean pretty much 100% more, and it's really cost us. But we have managed to get, I have counted 12 players um, in so far. Which is very good, we made a lot of progress, a lot of emails filing last episode, I'm becoming quite tired now, and um, I'm doing this all in a, um, uh, one in a row, um, I'm on, I'm on form, I'm on form today, um, I hope, um, but now we have to go out, and I said in the last episode we need to go out and find ourselves a CDM, um, we lost that game against Schalke, but now I'm going to go out and find myself a cheap CDM, that's going to just fill the gap, just uh, someone, anyone, just, is there any, uh, never mind, uh, we're going to go out, try and find a CDM that um, isn't going to cost us the bank, um, maybe just two million there, oh, we don't, oh, my days, uh, we, we're struggling for money right now, and uh, it looks like we're going to struggle, we need um, a CDM, definitely, but uh, wages is costing us massively, and when I say massive, I mean massive, and um, we, we, I'm looking, I'm just trying to find a CDM that's going to basically just sit there, and we could get Joey Ballon in on free transfer, actually thinking about it, because he's so beast, it doesn't really matter that he's not that good, but um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the best at the top, even though we probably can't afford him, so we go to the bottom instead, actually we'll just, let's just um, sort of get them in right order here. Uh, let's go down to the CDMs if there is anyone, any, but I did see some, um, and we see that we have some here, so um, I'm just going to go, I'm not too bothered about how quick they are, um, but I am bothered about their, oh, it's going to keep on going up, isn't it, um, but, oh, no, this is bad, um, that guy over there, jo Juskui, um, Joski, he looks like he could be alright, um, Good balance, good jumping, uh, not too bad so far. Good aggression, good interceptions, good overall a bit. In what is this short pass like? 72, 81 slide tackle. Hmm, this guy could be all right actually. Um, um, I'll leave it right now because there's definitely more players that we could go for. But um, I'm definitely looking at Tim Rashuk's deal where it did not go through. I swear Sharu was a good player. I swear I know. He's got 75 75 on that. Uh, he's got high wages though. N not that high, but uh, still high wages. Maybe we might have to sort of improvise here. Uh, Christian Paulson. Ah, yes. Christian Paulson. You cannot say anything about that man. He is an absolute beast when he played for Liverpool. And I look um, with a really stupid face. Um, but uh, Ifu here, 90 strength, he looks like a absolute tank, um, uh, not really looking for, looking for, I'm looking for someone with 80 plus, um, ability, um, uh, uh, stand tackle, um, because, um, I don't really go in for sliding tackles, I go in for stand tackles, really, I don't like to go sliding in, or I might just lose the, lose the sort of the, leverage on the player if I'm sort of sort of standing him up and he just I go slide tackling in and he just runs away like a little child with candy but I, it seems like there's a couple players here we could go for and um, put the best ones at the top uh, top ones Henrique we need to go for someone that's cheap um, on the wages oh that guy oh that guy Colosa oh my god he's got so low pace Oh my days, he cannot slide tackle, he basically, he has no, he, he can oh my days, and that guy's hair, oh my, we have, oh my, gee, oh my, oh my, that guy's hair is awesome, 
absolutely awesome here. Lee Catamol, um, he's good. I've got to say he's he's okay. Maybe we could try and get a cut deal on this guy. Uh, what is? Could we actually loan him in? Could we actually go and loan? Um, yet to sign a long-term contract. Maybe we could go in him for a deal. Maybe we could take Lee Catamol here. Um, I'm going to offer him 1.3 million. That's basically us done for the transfer budget. We are struggling here, but if all else fails, we will go to Joey Joseph Mir Ballon, uh, the 65 rated CDM that is um, on the free transfer list that I know is there. I hope he's still there anyway. But I'm going to go simulate this game really fast. Um, hopefully, we can uh, get a get get a good result out. Um, I don't. Oh, there's. Uh, what? There's like five ni Oh, oh, we've got Shane Higgs and goal. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just hallucinating here. Um, but we lost that game, no surprise, uh, playing the Northampton team. But our first game is against Aston Villa. Gee whiz, of course, it's given us West Ham's. All oh, my days have actually accepted the offer. Oh my god, we're getting Lee Catamol for a cut price here. Not a bad um, signing for us there. 24 72 year overall. I was surprised they even accepted that. Of course, we need to go in with a higher wage uh, just to get this guy in. Maybe, please accept it, Lee Catamore. And then, I'm pretty much done. I need one more striker, but I can look um, to get someone in on the low knee, maybe. Um, I'm sure there's some de just some average strikers, maybe just like a Binny IS. You just get him in. Um, and we got this game, and then next game it's going to be Aston Villa. But hopefully I'll have my team ready before then, and we can get into some um, not live commentary video. I mean, um, just get some. Oh my God, we actually took the lead, and then we lost. Ah, uh, uh, very good there. Uh, it's it, we're, we're looking all right. Uh, of course, I'm playing, and the, he's accepted the contract. We've got a pretty good deal. Finally, hallelujah, we have got a good deal. Jesus! Oh, finally, 15 grand, 1.3 million. I gotta say that's a fair price. He looks so much like Henderson. Maybe that's sort of a trend in Sunderland. If you, if you, oh my God! No, it's gonna give me <laughs> emails on Charles being so rubbish. Oh my days! And we got Aston Villa first because it is the, they've given us West Ham's fixture list for um, the year that they came up. And I don't think I have any offers into the thing right now. And I need to sign one more player, I believe, and then we're done. I don't think I need a left back because we have more group. And if he gets injured, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be so mad. Uh, but we need one more player, and that's a striker. And then after that, I am probably... Actually, I'm going to do it right now. I'm, I'm just going to say YOLO to this. Free agents, baby. We're going all out on these free agents. I don't care how bad they are. We're going to sign, oh my, uh, where is he? Um, Kennedy, actually, oh, no, yeah, uh, no, I'm going to go for Ballon, let's go find him. Uh, where are you, Ballon, Ballon, Ballon? Um, I hope he's still in here. Uh, Broski, Alex Broski, D didn't I, I signed him, I remember him. Oh my god, blast from the past, man, that, that guy was awesome, and then we sold him, because he was so good, and... Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, oh no, he's not even there anymore. He doesn't exist. Oh, where have you gone, Ballon? Don't tell me he's like disappeared because the game doesn't like me anymore. Um, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, does that mean we're going to be without Ballon in a career mode? That's just disgusting. Oh my god, thank god he's actually there. He's actually 67 rated. That's not a bad free agent to sign. Uh, oh, we don't want to shortlist him. We just want to go out, full out, buy him. Uh, a crucial first team player. I don't really care anymore. Um, he's probably going to... Because some of these players being so... Oh, I know Lee Catamole isn't that old. But we have to go in and just try and get some replacements. Some stocking fillers, as I said in the previous... Um, some of the previous episodes... I just have to get players in that are going to really, if someone gets injured, we can bring them in. Um, I think David Beckham's got the injury prone trait, so uh, I'm still looking. Uh, that guy looks like he's got good paces, he's got good ability. That guy's getting signed up then. Um, <laughs> 33 years old, but 
I don't really mind. A pretty decent defender. I'm going all out this episode. Just going boom, boom, boom. Ah, yes. This series has been saved by the fact that the actual, the game actually feels... Well, it needs to give me players rather than let me go die in a hole uh, with Northampton players. Even, not saying they're bad. It's just the BPL is a big step up from them. Three leagues is quite a massive step up for the, the, the Northampton players. I'm thinking of signing Josh Kennedy just for a player that's going to win them area where I know I have a Grant Hull and I need to sign one more striker that has a bit of um, pace because we only have Shane Long for that. But we have... Um, we, uh, we need to sign another striker. We need about four strikers and this is going to be hopefully a, be our third one and I'm pr pretty much going to call it quits um, for that. But... Actually, I'm going to go quickly and try and get it in for this episode. Um, I'm going to go and get a loaned in uh, striker. Hopefully there are some good ones out there. I'm um, not really bothered about the wage. We've still got 50k left and then we can really get down into some business in these games. And Oh my days. The best one is... Uh, he's not even that good, is he? He's not got good pace. He's just god awful and... Uh, wait a minute, Josh King, he's fast, isn't he? Josh King, he's fast. He's got uh, 61 finishing, are you joking? Uh, I'm, <laughs> that's sort of ruined my plans of signing a striker that's on loan. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go transfer listed. I presume there isn't any good transfer listed strikers. They do get transfer listed over time. But it doesn't look like there's anyone good. Cisco, he's meant to be good. Um, oh, he's not really that good, actually. What are you talking about, Matt? Um, but I'm going to have to just go and try and sign one. Um, pretty much one million. Some old, really fast old guy. Like He's got, like the, what are they called? I can't even remember what they're called. Um, uh, why have I even looked up on the wage there? Um, what they call Zimmer frames, yes, Zimmer frames. Uh, he's gonna go really fast with one of those. But come on, any good strikers out there that have got good pace? Anyone, 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 anyone? Um, Dimitri Mici, Mici, um, Ecomius. I'm just going down. I don't care about their finishing. Who was that guy? Oh, it's Jason Roberts. He's not gonna be that fast. Uh, Liugu. Oh, hello. Uche! Oh my god, he's in Ultimate Team, so he's alright, yes. <laughs> well, let's just go sign Uchi. Um, he better not have been recently joined, because that badge does not look familiar. And why did that just come up on the screen? It's blocking my view. And he's been in the cup since 2011. Um, 950 grand. Go on then. Let's do this. We have 1 million left, and if this deal doesn't work, it's going to be a fail and a half but we have time left to search for more strikers but I'm hoping to get this in um, for this episode please bring please accept this offer and then probably next episode we can probably get into some games and start doing some business in this uh, in this uh, series and Joshua Kenny has accepted the offer another striker to add to the piggy bank <sighs> this, this has been a um, I've been doing this for 45 minutes and damn, has it been some stressful and then some pretty brilliant 45 minutes of not being able to sign a try. Yay, that's even better. We've managed to sign, well, not really sign, but Uchi, we can offer him a billion pounds and he still wouldn't be too bothered. 15 grand fair price, boom, boom, boom. And there we go. This is pretty much it. My voice is slowly, slowly deteriorating. It's slowly combusting and exploding and oh my god we're getting another center back in even though we have plenty but um seeing as Mulgrew is going to be playing at left back I reckon now and um, we got Ballon as well who is a decent uh player if you ever see my York City career mode but in the next episode we will be clearing everything up I am going to try and get into that Aston Villa game a couple more games and you see there, they want us to finish 20th. So guys, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. As well as more content, please go check that out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.